Showers this evening, an overnight low of 37 degrees, mostly cloudy skies overnight. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, just a slight chance of showers tomorrow afternoon with a high of 54. 50 are high today, 61 is average. No measurable precipitation out at the airport, where right now it's 50 and mostly cloudy and breezy. Wind gusts in the 25 mile per hour range, mostly cloudy and just 46 in Coeur d'Alene. Well, our cooler than average weather will continue for the next couple of days. We start warming up a little bit Saturday, cooling back down again Monday, and then amazing things happen, actually heading to above average temperatures as we get into next week. In the short term, though, we do have showers moving southeast across the region. Those will taper off later this evening with dry conditions overnight. High pressure begins trying to build in tomorrow, but enough lingering instability that we wouldn't rule out a shower or two, particularly over the mountains. Then that high pressure builds in for Saturday, a dry, spectacular day. One more system coming through on Sunday, and then we can really start drying out. Overnight lows tonight will be in the 30s and 40s with highs tomorrow running below average in the 50s and 60s. But as I showed you, we are warming up in the seven-day forecast. Showers on Sunday, perhaps a lingering sprinkle on Monday. And then, Nadine, yeah. look what happens. We're wow. into the 60s what? Tuesday, 69 degrees on Wednesday, and the first 70 of the season, That's it's incredible. overdue, yes. but we'll take it a week from today. How I'm marking that? it on the calendar right now, making plans to yes. get outside. Seven, yeah, I, I can't, I don't, <laughs> That's awesome. I've totally forgotten what the 70s feels like. I'm with you. That's for sure forecast focus some good news about all of the wet weather we have had recently the drought monitor comes out every Thursday across the United States and here's the key right here showing dry and yellow all the way to this dark maroon exceptional drought looks like the worst of it is in northern Georgia but I want to point out the complete lack of colors of any kind over the inland Northwest as we are in great shape in terms of precipitation and of course this is just part of the story, the drought monitor uh, takes into account a lot of the wet weather that we've had. We still have to make it uh, through the winter, and that's where we look to our snowpack, and we're in great shape there, too. This is our snow cover as of today, and boy, there's a lot of snow in the western United States, and not just in the mountains. I'll show you why in just a minute. Let's zoom in on the northwest. Our snowpack is in fabulous shape, over 100% of average throughout the river basins locally. And so short term, we're in good shape. Long term, we're in good shape. We've probably had enough rain for a while, as a matter of fact, and we do have some drier weather to come. Satellite and radar, we have a northwesterly flow, few showers in progress right now. Look at all of the white showing up on the map. On the uh, cold side of the front, we have got uh, some very cold air and snow making its way all the way down to the valleys. We're just seeing rain on our Doppler radar, a little bit of thunderstorm activity trying to pop up here, but it's not having much luck. Don't be surprised if you find a little bit of a small hail or if the downpour comes down uh, briefly at a pretty good pace. Otherwise, these showers will taper off tonight. We're going to be mostly dry tomorrow with just a slight chance of afternoon convection. 50 in Spokane right now, 45 with a shower in Coeur d'Alene right now. Nationally, a little bit of severe weather along our cold front making its way to the east. Thunderstorms also in the central plains. Temperatures for highs today, quite a variety from only 36 degrees in Minneapolis to 90 in Phoenix. It was uh, 81 in Pittsburgh today. Boy, look at all that warm weather. Normally this map makes me jealous because everyone's had a warm spring except for us. And then I put up this seven day forecast and look ahead to the middle of next week, upper 60s to mid 70s possible with some drier weather. We do have that slight chance of showers Friday and some showers possible on Sunday too. But we'll get over that. Oh, sure. And look forward to the good stuff yeah. later on in the week. I'm <laughs> loving that. Well, you'll remember last winter, Mark Peterson and the KX1 